just going to show you a fossil I have acquired. Um, you can see it's a rock. It weighs a, I don't know, a couple of pounds at least. It looks, I'd call it a rock, but this is possibly sandstone. I'm no expert. It's a kind of a browny sand colour. Uh, fairly smooth. Part of it is greyer than the rest of it, the top bit. That could have been damaged by um, by this being removed from where it's come from, out of the ground. Uh, and I, I spotted this on the rock. I don't want to say where I found it yet, but um, look at that. That is definitely a fossil. And I'm going to throw some more light on it so you can actually see the ridges really well. Look at that. If I put a really bright torch on it, you can see there's deep grooves that are the remains of this fossil. You see that? Unfortunately, where, where the rock has been broken off, it's just missed the vast majority of the fossil. Might have, the very tip there might be slightly missing. I don't know. I'm no expert on what it should look like, but... It seems to be pretty much intact, um, but you can see, look at that, look at those really well grooved, that's what caught my eye, I could see that shape on the rock, and uh, wow, obviously I'm very chuffed. So that's, that's the shape of it, okay, that should be enough detail for you, I'll zoom in a bit actually, let me zoom in, might as well show you in as much detail as I can. So you see all those grooves. Okay, so that's that's about as well as I can show you using a camcorder and a torch. Um, but you can you can easily see the shape that it's supposed to be. Now I'm going to use a ruler in centimeters. I'll give you a rough idea of the scale of it. So. Hold on, I need to put this a little bit higher up so that I can do the measurements. Hold on, right, that's a good idea. Stick it in a tub. So, from that highest point on the top of the rock there to there's about nine centimeters. Okay, the actual fossil from that part of the fossil to the edge of the rock which I still think is fossil is about eight centimeters across so I would say eight centimeters across okay and then the other direction roughly uh, the longest part is going to be about mm, six and a half centimeters or so it's very roughly I'm not getting exact reading just to give you a, a rough idea so six and a half centimeters by about say eight centimeters give you a rough idea of the size of this okay and the rockets on anyway you can see it's a few inches thick um, my guess is it's sandstone I'm absolutely no expert at all so not sure but as I said it feels fairly smooth I washed it in warm water, get dirt off it, etc. Um, I know exactly where it's come from. And on the other side, there's there's another thing with a bit of shape to it. Look at that. What's that? Could that be remains of another creature, or could that be a leaf? I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. And I'll give a quick measurement of that as well while I'm doing this. The measurement of that thing is roughly three and a half centimeters long. See that three and a half centimeters long, and it's about two centimeters wide, very roughly. Okay, and that's on the same bit of rock, but that's definitely something. I don't, I can't see that's uh, man-made. That appears to be another creature in this. So, just show you any other features to the rock that might help you. Some kind of a, a seam there, a ridge, see that? What's that? That seems to go through that little bit there. As you can see, 
darker grey on the top where the fossil is compared to the bottom which is more browny sandy colour. Um, don't know if that's something there as well. Found in a, an area where there's a lot of flint. And that's what made this so obvious is there's obviously not flint. There's flint everywhere where this came from. Um, I even looked at a topographic map of the area and it's in an area that's um, a bit higher than the surrounding area, probably something like 350 feet above sea level, I think it was. This has come from England, from Cambridgeshire, that's all I'm willing to say. Um, but anyway, if you can name what this creature is, let me know. And what I did was, I've only spent five minutes, I'll just quickly show you, I went, I typed in Google, something like fossils in the UK or whatever. Anyway, I came up with a website called UK Fossils .co.uk. I went on that. I can't remember how I got to. Anyway, I got to their introduction to Ammonites page. I won't film all for copyright reasons, but they've got a, photos of different types of Ammonites, and I went down there very quickly looking. And I believe the closest to what I think I've got kind of looks like something like this, doesn't it? All those ridges on the rock could be from something like that. So that led me to Hop Hop Lights. Dentatus. Okay, let me just pan away a second. Um, and from that, I then typed that into Wikipedia, and there's a Wikipedia page, believe it or not, for hoplites, which means ammonite. Um, a bit of information about there, and then they explained it's from the early Albanian, Al Albi Albanian, early Albion period. Hold on, again. Um, so then I typed on that link. Let's, let's do it whilst I'm here. So early Albion period. Then that gives you a chart of what these different times are. And from the Albion period, that puts it at between 100.5 million years old and 113 million years old. This is their information. I could be, I don't think I've misread any of that, but so 100 to 130 million years old, if if it is that type of um, ammonite, I said that's called, what's it called? Hold on. Hop, no, what was it called? Yeah, Hoplites dentatus, if that is. And like I said, I've only spent like five minutes looking at it. I'm sure you have to spend hours to come to a conclusion of what exactly this one is. But um, based on that, I reckon, what I found is over a hundred million years old, so that is quite extraordinary. And I have to say, I've never found one of these before in my life anywhere. This is a first for me. Um, so please, if you can, if you can, just by looking at it, if you can tell me what this is, please do. Um, I'd love to know exactly what this is. You're going to have to do it by looking at it. I'm not handing this over <laughs> to anybody to start chiseling around on it and examining it so that this is what you've got to work with you can see the indentations very clearly so that should help you work out well I hope this will help you work out what it is but as I said found in Cambridgeshire uh, a place where there's a lot of flint on the surface even and again that could be simply because the farmers dig up the area near to where this was found um, anyway let me know what you think this is I think it's awesome thank you for watching bye bye